I don't judge people on the basis of their race or creed or gender or even nationality. I only judge people based on their marathon time. As a serious runner, I believe I'm better than all the hobby joggers out there. But not because of my family's bloodline or divine right, but because I have a faster marathon time than they do. When I see hobby joggers entering lotteries and crossing their fingers hoping to get in, I'm perplexed. If you want to run a particular race, just be faster and qualify. In fact, the most epic marathon of them all, the Boston Marathon, doesn't even have a lottery. It does have charity runners, though. If you lack talent, just throw money at the situation. It's very American. Running is a meritocracy. The faster that I run, the more deserving I am of things like adoration from my local running community, social media followers, free gear, ambassador program memberships, Strava kudos, and yes, the ability to bypass a marathon lottery. But then there's the London Marathon. For those of us who aren't residents of the United Kingdom, there is no qualifying standard. There is only a lottery. The way I see it, this good for age qualifying standard is discriminatory against the entire world, except Her Majesty's loyal subjects. In a global interconnected world, how is this even a thing? I mean, what century are we living in? Also, good for age? Come on, I'm freaking fast for any age. The modern marathon does have some history with the British monarchy. The 26.2 mile distance was established in 1908 so that the Olympic marathon would run from Windsor Castle to White City Stadium and end right in front of where the royals would spectate. <sighs> Man, I should have been born 100 years ago. The winning time in the 1908 Olympic Marathon was only 2.55. The London Marathon is especially problematic for those of us who don't live in the UK and are trying to complete all six of the world marathon majors. After all, getting that big six world marathon majors medal would be the ultimate addition to my marathon medal display. In order to get into London, there are a few options. I could enter the lottery like a hobby jogger, but that'd be like Prince Harry giving up his royal status to become a commoner. Plus, then I'd be stressing for months, waiting for the acceptance or rejection email, even though I know that the odds are I'm going to get rejected. But as a serious runner, I need to plan my race calendar a year in advance. And how am I supposed to do that if I'm not gonna know about London for months? I could try to find a friend who lives in the UK and ask if I can register using their address. Come on, Mo, let me use your address. <laughs> what do you mean, how did I get your number? Hello? Hello? There is one sure way to get in though. I could purchase a marathon tour package. For $2,500, I can buy a vacation package that just happens to include entry into the London Marathon. That $2,500 does not include airfare. Now, you might be thinking $2,500 is a lot of money to spend just to get into a race but you can't put a price on epicness. The London Marathon needs to wake up. If I meet the qualifying standards, I deserve to run, regardless of where I reside. We're a global society, and we should be open and welcoming to everyone. Everyone who has a respectable marathon time. Monarchy, class systems, preferential treatment for subjects of the empire. These are all concepts that are for an age gone by. God save Kipchoge.